Imagine standing before a grand palace, a symbol of absolute monarchy, an architectural marvel, and a testament to the lavish lifestyle of French kings. Welcome to the Palace of Versailles. This sprawling structure, an epitome of Baroque architecture, radiates an aura of magnificence and opulence. Each detail, each line of its intricate design speaks volumes of the meticulous craftsmanship that went into its creation. The grand scale of the palace with its expansive gardens, majestic fountains and lavish halls, leaves one in awe. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Palace of Versailles holds a place of paramount importance in world history. Its imposing facade, adorned with ornate sculptures and intricate goldwork, reflects the absolute power and wealth of the French monarchy at its peak. The Palace of Versailles is not just a building, it's a piece of history, a symbol of France's glorious past. The story of Versailles begins in the 17th century, in the reign of Louis XIII. It was in the year 1623 that, Louis XIII, a keen hunter, established a modest hunting lodge in the village of Versailles. This unassuming structure, nestled amidst the wilderness, was a far cry from the grandeur that Versailles would come to embody. Louis XIII's humble hunting lodge was not destined to remain so. His son, Louis XIV, also known as the Sun King, had grand visions of turning this lodge into a residence befitting the majesty of the French monarchy. This transformation commenced in the year 1661, when Louis XIV commissioned the renowned architect Louis Laveau to undertake the daunting task of expanding the hunting lodge into a royal chateau. Under the artistic direction of Laveau, the lodge was transformed into a chateau of exceptional elegance and sophistication. Laveau's ingenious designs, coupled with his meticulous attention to detail, resulted in a palace that was the epitome of French classical architecture. However, the metamorphosis of Versailles was far from over. In the year 1678 another architect Jules Hardouin Mansart was brought on board. Hardouin Mansart was entrusted with the task of further expanding the palace. His contributions including the majestic Hall of Mirrors and the enchanting Orangery, further enhanced the grandeur of Versailles, making it a symbol of the absolute monarchy of the Ancien Regime. It was during the reign of Louis XIV that Versailles began to evolve from a mere royal residence into a hub of political power. The Sun King moved the royal court and the government of France to Versailles in 1682. From then on, Versailles was no longer just a palace, it was the beating heart of the French monarchy. By the time of Louis XIV's death, the Palace of Versailles had become the center of political power in France. This was the birth of Versailles as we know it today, a testament to the opulence and grandeur of the French monarchy, and an enduring symbol of the absolute power of the Sun King. The reign of Louis XV and Louis XVI marked the golden age of Versailles. In this era, the Palace of Versailles transformed from a simple hunting lodge into an opulent symbol of royal absolutism and artistic brilliance. This was a time of grandiosity, a time when the palace's architecture and artistry reached dizzying heights of splendor and sophistication. The Hall of Mirrors, arguably the most iconic addition during this period, is a testament to the grandeur of this age. Imagine a gallery adorned with 357 beveled mirrors, reflecting the light of 17 grand windows overlooking the palace gardens. It's a spectacle of light and opulence that captured the essence of the Golden Age. Another notable addition was the Petit Trianon, a small chateau within the palace grounds. This intimate retreat was Louis XVI's gift to his queen, Marie Antoinette. It served as a haven away from court etiquette where the queen could indulge in her whims and fancies. While the palace was being embellished with architectural marvels, it was also a stage for significant events that would shape the world. The most consequential of these was the signing of the Treaty of Versailles in 1783, marking the end of the American Revolutionary War. The treaty, signed in the palace's Grand Hall of Mirrors, recognized the United States as an independent nation, reshaping the political landscape of the era. But beneath the surface of this golden age, the extravagance of Versailles was stirring discontent. The palace's opulence stood in stark contrast to the hardship faced by the common people of France. This disparity was creating an undercurrent of unrest that would eventually erupt into the French Revolution. Despite the extravagance, the seeds of the French Revolution were being sown, and the palace would soon witness a drastic change. The French Revolution marked the end of monarchy and the beginning of a new era for Versailles. This tumultuous period in French history saw Versailles transition from a royal residence 
to a symbol of the nation's turbulent past. As the revolutionaries stormed the bastions of royal power, the Palace of Versailles underwent a transformative journey. No longer the home of kings and queens, it was repurposed as a museum, opening its grand halls and lavish rooms to the public. This was more than a physical transition, it was a symbolic one. The palace, once a symbol of absolute monarchy, became a testament to the French people's struggle for liberty, equality, and fraternity. It served as a living, breathing repository of the nation's history and heritage, encapsulating centuries of cultural and political evolution. Today, the Palace of Versailles stands as a reminder of France's royal past and its journey to becoming a republic. The Palace of Versailles is a journey through time, a testament to architectural grandeur and a symbol of France's rich history. As we look back at the tale of this magnificent structure, we are reminded of its humble beginnings as a hunting lodge, its evolution into a royal palace, and the embodiment of absolute monarchy during its golden age. The Palace of Versailles wasn't just a home, it was a statement of power and elegance. It witnessed the extravagant lifestyle of Louis XIV, XV and XVI, and eventually became a pivotal site during the French Revolution, marking the end of royalty and the dawn of the Republic. This palace with its opulent halls, vast gardens and stunning artworks encapsulates centuries of French history, its highs and lows, its triumphs and tribulations. As we bid adieu to the Palace of Versailles, we leave with a deeper understanding and appreciation of this remarkable symbol of French heritage.